Um, so, let, first of all, what got you into ASL, first of all? My parents are deaf. Okay. Um, they're both deaf. Uh, so, uh, signing, uh, America Sign Language was my first language. At mm -hmm. eight months old, I was signing water, mom, you know, which is the generic sign here to my chin. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, I am Keith Wan, that's my name, and you know in deaf culture, it's essential to introduce yourselves. So please, your names? You have sloppy finger spelling. You're drunk. <laughs> You're a lefty, I can't read left-handed. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I have an idea, let me go ahead and do a survey. If, okay, if you are an ASL student, let me hear you scream. You're slow. <laughs> you were depending, obviously, on the interpreter, weren't you? <laughs> That's me! <laughs> Sign my paper, Keith! <laughs> okay. If you are a coda like me, let me hear you scream. <laughs> if you are a hearing person and you know no sign language, but the damn girlfriend who's taking ASL class in full <laughs> I went to a public or to a hearing school and I had to go to speech therapy because I didn't want to talk. I, I believed that I was deaf. I didn't know what this guttural noises you guys are making you know, from your throats. I, that, to me, that wasn't language. You guys are handicapped. I felt sorry for you. My mom would tell me not to stare at you guys. Um, so, yeah, it's my first language and I'm actually more comfortable expressing myself in sign language. My dad despised people looking down on him. One day, my father was just at home, watching Dynasty, of course. <laughs> and a hearing neighbor came over to the house. <laughs> Knocked on the door. And guess what happened? Nothing. My father didn't hear him. <laughs> so the hearing man opened the door, came in. I've been interpreting for 20 years. I loved interpreting in a mental health settings and at comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. And while interpreting comedy clubs, myself growing up, I, I, I loved comedy. I would watch all different kinds of comedians, Sam Kinison, uh, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, and I just, Steve Martin. Mm -hmm. I loved it and I always was curious, can I take that formula and do it in sign language? Mm -hmm. um, so it's always been a goal, a dream of mine. Around 2001, I had a group of three deaf people come up to me and say, we want to start an improv group. You know, you t you're very physical, you're very visual with your signing in your hands. And where was that? In, in Sacramento, from? California. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. At the same time, whose line was it anyway was very popular on TV. So yep. they said, let's do, a, let's do a sign language version of that. And that's what started. They did that for the first, um, did that for three years. And then from that became the solo show. Walk. Walk like this. Really. This is how you walk. You should be ashamed, ashamed of yourselves. Okay, how do you sign run? 